Hello farms friends, Joel Colander here for Rock Island Auction Company. And this is a video I had to make. We weren't sure if there was gonna be enough time between now our filming date and the December premiere, but there, frankly, there's too many amazing Marlin firearms in this auction to not show you. Now, it's my humble opinion that Marlins are underrated, severely underrated. They take, they sit in the shadow of Winchesters, but as the guns in the sale and on the table will show you, there's more than enough times where they are every bit their equal and even surpass the vaunted Winchesters as amazing as they are. Now, we have a good variety here. It's not just the classic lever guns, and we're gonna show that to you, but it's not just a variety in the type of firearms, but in the price points as well. This auction has dozens of Marlins in the sale, ranging from everything from $1,500 estimates to $90,000 estimates and everything in between. So if you've been thinking about Marlins, or maybe you've been thinking about Winchesters, but don't wanna pay the Winchester price, boy, this is a sale where you should be sitting up and paying attention because the selection is absolutely fantastic. Let's dive right in. Front and center, how about the finest known Marlin Model 1889? And when we say the finest known, one look at this and you will know why. It is exceptional. It is deluxe with the wood, the beautiful case hardening, the factory engraved. Oh, it has Freund sights as well. If you're familiar with Freund Brothers, a well-known uh, period retailer. Those are supremely desirable by collectors as well. Now, Conrad Ulrich was cutting for Marlin at that time and he was helping standardize a lot of the Marlin engraving patterns that were there. This is similar to a Marlin uh, number one engraving pattern. And we can't say definitively that this gun is Ulrich, but clearly one of the patterns. Uh, and it's just a beautiful gun from the pistol grips, from the screw in the butt plate to the blue finish at the muzzle and the screaming, screaming case coloring in case you couldn't tell. This gun is an absolute winner. The finest known Marlin Model 1889. Jumping ahead a few years and the next gun back on the table, a world-class Marlin Model 1893 deluxe takedown model and you can see it's every bit deluxe the, the finish uh, aside and the condition aside but the deluxe wood uh, pistol grip crescent butt uh, the, and of course the unique the very distinct checkering that you'll see on marlins a lot of times they'll leave those smooth patterns in the checkering like diamonds or circles this one of course has some some super distinct uh, paths through the checkering wonderfully factory engraved like i'm just looking at the top of the receiver here and it's just absolutely beautiful American art. Uh, even the takedown mechanism and around it, uh, the engraving extends up the barrel slightly, just like you'd expect on a Winchester 101000. And you can follow all the deluxe features. We have fold up sights here. It's just everywhere you look on this gun is something beautiful and amazing. Perhaps most importantly though, is the precious metal inlays in this gun, gold and platinum. Uh, even here, again, by, by the sights, by the engraving like a 101000, you see this platinum inlay and it goes around the chambering of a uh, 3855, followed immediately by more gold scroll work. Notably though, it's not summer gold inlays and summer platinum. Very uniquely, this Marlin blends the two. So the, around this side, the border on the panel scene switches from gold to platinum as it borders the panel scene. And there's a lot of heart shapes on the near side that switch from gold to platinum. Most notably, I think, on the loading lever. Um, it's not only engraved, but with the precious metal inlays. If you want factory engraving on a lever for Winchester, that's something worth noting and we should know. We've offered those before and we know how special that engraving is to see on a lever. The engraving on this lever is profuse and it has a precious metal inlay. So if you're trying to compare some of the Winchester Precious Art Fine Arms with a Marlin, this is a Marlin we're taking a look at. It is absolute 19th century American fine arms artistry. And now from the 93 going back, as we go back on the table, an 1881 Marlin, horse of a different color, again with that wonderful side loading gate a la Burgess and the top ejection. So not, I mean, the early design cues, the 81 is the first Marlin lever action from his other, you know, single shot designs and some of his uh, earlier, not as successful endeavors. But 
and of course it's deluxe. We can see from the wood, we can see from the engraving. This is a beautiful gun stem to stern, but my goodness, how can you not talk about the elephant in the room? And that's the 30 and a half inch telescopic sight, the Malcolm telescopic sight on top with the slaughterback mounts. Absolutely makes this gun stand out from across the room. Uh, period optics like this to me are so fascinating and so cool. This is a high tech piece. And it's a high tech piece, again, on a working man's gun that is made into a deluxe gun. The engraving on this side is fantastic. Even the dust cover on top has a stag engraved onto it. There's wonderful banners on this side, uh, on the left side of the receiver around the mount. Just a beautiful gun, checkered, beautiful striped piece of wood. This is a fantastic piece and it should be as it's inscribed to a man named Clinton White who held a number of positions throughout his life, most notably perhaps though the mayor of Sacramento. So a fantastic gun for a man who served no small roles in, in the West and in his area, uh, a man of importance, as you can tell, he, and a man of means with a gun like this. And by the way, the gun is from the Tom Selleck collection. It checks about every box. Beautiful, high condition, fascinating history, and obviously, very distinct piece of Marlin firearms history as well. Now, we mentioned in the introduction that they weren't gonna be all lever actions and it's time to make good on that promise. How about an over-under shotgun? A Model 90 shotgun in 20 gauge, beautiful, beautiful piece. And it's a presentation piece that Marlin did. Now, Marlin didn't do a lot of presentation pieces. Most notably, Rock Island Auction Company has sold two Annie Oakley presentation Marlins for uh, $575,000 and then just under the half a million dollar mark because Marlin presentation arms are rare. Here we have a third Marlin presentation arm. And as you can see from the gold inscription on the right side, this is a Marlin presentation to Tom Mix. Now who is Tom Mix? He's the king of the cowboys. He has, uh, he was a, a movie star in both the silent film area and the beginning of the talkies. He is like, 270 films to his credit. But he was also a Bronco Buster. He was a national celebrity. He marched in Teddy Roosevelt's 1905 inaugural parade. He was a pallbearer for Wyatt Earp. He was kind of a big deal. No wonder that Marlon chose Tom Mix to be to serve as a presentation, not to mention all the dime novels and comic books. He was just, he was everywhere. He's every bit of national celebrity. So we have Tom Mix in gold on this side. We have his six shooter his holster rig, a rather signature cowboy hat on that side. And the left side shows Tom Mix Bronco busting and riding a horse and with his lasso with the ready. It's just a really wonderful piece of Marlin's firearm history and a presentation to boot. So if you didn't care to spend half a million dollars on an Annie Oakley presentation, here's a fantastic piece of the Old West, some Tom Mix history and a Marlin presentation. Last but not least, might be my favorite gun on the table, and I saved it for the last. This is a Marlin 20S, little 22 pumper, made for a short period after the Great War, and this is just beautiful. Um, this is Alden George Ulrich's work, and it is fantastic. We have this two deer panel scene over here, and flipping around shows kind of the highlight of the entire gun. I mean, we have those, those checkered patterns we talked about here, but well, look at this wonderfully carved stock with this rising duck with some of the floral work carved right in there. Beautiful floral work, even on screw heads. It is just, it's just a real sweetheart. Such a small canvas, so much artistry, so simple and so well done. That 20S might be my favorite Marlin on the table and, and with darn good reason. Now, I know we said last but not least on the 20S, but frankly, there's too many good Marlins in the sale not to show you. I have two bonus selections. I know y'all love your Winchester Trapper carbines. And so the first bonus selection is a Marlin Trapper carbine. Model 1894, 15 inch barrel length, comes with the ATF exemption letter, all the things you'd love to see on a Winchester Trapper carbine, but with an estimate of three to $5,000. So significantly better price tag then you're gonna find on some of the Winchester Trappers and you still get a great piece of an American firearm in a configuration that everybody loves and it's gonna look great in your collection. And for bonus Marlin number two, how about 
a Marlin Rockwell model 1918 Browning automatic rifle. I know it's not quite as slender and demure and beautiful as Model 20S, but I thought some of you out there might like it anyway, since it is part of the largest selection of fully automatic firearms that Rock Island has ever offered. And ladies and gentlemen, those are just a few of the outstanding Marlins at our December 8th through 10th Premier Firearms Auction. Come to the auction, come to preview day, December 7th, it is open to the public. And come say hi in Bedford, come put some of these Marlins in your own hands and in your own collection. Until next time, keep your powder dry.